Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, James, as well. Um, we've actually just done at Pulsar a test with, uh, with Airborne, the last people that, that spoke. And I have to say, the capabilities at Westcott are amazing. And the, um, I guess the know-how is also incredibly impressive. So I guess if you're in that sector, go and, go and check them out. Um, we have so little data on humanity. And when I say like humanity, I mean planets that have humans. Because of um, light speed, we're incapable. I mean, it'd be very nice to be able to say, here's a hundred planets that have humans, and we could see what a hundred thousand years worth of human uh, innovation does. But because we are so alone, and we've only been at this for around 30,000 years, we, we don't know. Are we, are we a species that, um, that ultimately a planet humans and we start to destroy that planet or we wipe ourselves out, which uh, today is looking more and more likely? Or are we that species that can leave our solar system and start to explore the universe around us? Um, we're, we're kind of in a fork in the road right now where we've got on one side the metaverse where half of our sort of generation are, are focused on going into the metaverse rather than out into the universe. Um, and, you know, when they've only got a VR headset and they haven't got all the amazing technology like we have here, you know, that's quite appealing, especially as the world gets more and more expensive and we have, um, you know, commodities going up and they can't really afford um, so much, is that the metaverse offers you, you know, quite a lot. So, you know, <laughs> Half of humanity right now wants to go into the metaverse and the other half wants to go out into the universe. But that half needs an awful lot of money and an awful lot of technology to do that. And it's a very small, ex exclusive um, sort of fragment of people. Um, gosh, so Pulsar, our, our, our sort of overriding ambition is, is propulsion in space. Um, but we, as you see, we are Pulsar Fusion. Because fusion is, I think, one of the most important sciences of all at the moment, because it's, it's more than just about powering our planet forever, uh, which is a pretty big, pretty big thing. Uh, it offers another promise, which is if you can do fusion, you have the particle speeds to not just go to Mars or go to the moon, but to leave our solar system, possibly. Okay, you know, our closest universe our closest galaxy in our local 55, you know, local cluster is Andromeda, which is about 100 million light years away. So we won't be going there. But there are places to visit. You know, getting into space is what we're pretty good at now. But if we're going to move around meaningfully, we need to be going much, much faster than, um, you know, we're not going to be do it, doing it by setting fire to things. So is it going to be electric propulsion? No, electrostatic doesn't give us the speeds. Is it going to be combustion energy? I just don't believe that combustion serves so much of a purpose for, for meaningful space travel. Um, so it's, you know, it's got to be fusion. And the interesting thing is, is that you know, we can do fusion. And a lot of people will say, well, can we? Have we done, will we? I remember maybe six, six years ago being at MAST at the Atomic Energy Authority, the MAST upgrade and seeing, seeing it in pieces on the floor. And you know, physicists there were being so careful not to overstate the promise of fusion. And with good reason, fusion's had a lot of full starts and we don't want companies going up and making big claims about it. But you know, now, recently, it's achieved its, its latest, um, I don't know if you read about, if people have read about this, but it's an incredible result. I mean, they absolutely knocked it out of the park. They have done, this is not even a, this is you know, meant to be a prototyping facility for ITER. And the conditions achieved at MAST, and the conditions achieved at JET, and the conditions that will be achieved at ITER give us two promises. It means that we can power our planet forever, and we can leave our solar system. 